Welcome to The Word in Focus with Pastor Teacher Stephen Dickerson. Here's Pastor Stephen with today's teaching. John 6, uh, verse 63, I believe, and I'll, I'll look it up here. But it's, uh, I believe it's John 6, 63, that Jesus said, The flesh profits nothing, it's the spirit that gives life. The words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Jesus was very succinct to the point when he taught. Uh, there's about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the first chapter two of the, of, of the Acts. There's about 1,200 or so words that are recorded that Jesus taught. John said there are many more, but all the books in the world couldn't contain all of that. So there's about 1,200 or so words that are recorded in the Gospels and in the first two chapters of Acts. And so Jesus was very succinct, very specific. So when he's talking about the flesh profits nothing, it's the spirit that gives life. Well, you can't get much more specific than that. The flesh profits nothing. Paul continues in his writings, and I reference Paul a lot because Paul, the Apostle Paul, wrote at least 13, possibly 14 of the New Testament letters. But Paul talks about the natural mind. The natural mind can't comprehend the things that be of God. It's foolishness to them. Neither can he understand them because they're spiritually discerned, spiritually understood. And he talks about the spirit searches all things, yes, even the deep things of God. No man knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit within that man. No man, likewise, no man knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. So the spirit profits, the spirit is, it gives life, the spirit is the teacher. There's, the fullness of Christ is in us by the spirit. The spirit's the one who reveals, Holy Spirit's the one who reveals Jesus to us. The flesh profits nothing. How much of our religious system, and I'm, I'm not being critical, I'm simply letting it out here how much of our religious system whether you're 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 a cessationist or you're 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 one who believes in the in the the, the modern day gifts of the spirit which i do but whatever camp you're in the the the, the religious system that it seems to detract from the spirit giving life and relies on the flesh which profits nothing we have thousands of Christian denominations. We have within that uh, uh, thousands of Christian denominations, spirit-filled and cessationist, various groups, Calvinists, Arminius, we, just thousands. And, and we have little major doctrines and minor doctrines, the distinctions and differentiations between, between belief systems has caused confusion, but there's no life in it. We need relationship with one another, but it's the Spirit that gives us the relationship with Christ because we're born of the Spirit, born from above. We're one Spirit with Him. The Holy Spirit's the one who, living within us, teaches us, reveals to us Christ who's in us, the hope of glory. So we're being, we're being taught about Christ by the Spirit, who is the teacher. And He's the one who gives us the understanding of who Christ is and what He's accomplished. But a religious system tends to draw us out of that and places our reliance upon the flesh, the ability of the flesh to, to subdue, the ability of the natural man to subdue the flesh. We can't do it. There's no profit in it. It's the spirit that gives life. Then Jesus says, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. If we, again, I just I, I quoted earlier, Hebrews chapter 4, the word of God is a living and active is living and active, quick and powerful, living, living and active, sharp. Uh, uh, so that's, I think it's verse 12, Hebrews 4. So, so Jesus said that about his words. The words that I speak are spirit and they're life. They're living and active, quick and powerful, Hebrews 4. If we, if, we, if we allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us, who's the indwelling teacher, and speak the words of Christ to us, and we believe it, we say with our mouth, I agree with what the Word of God says, and we speak it over ourselves, the Holy Spirit will take that, and it'll go beyond the intellect, beyond the natural mind, and it'll go into our soul, man, and we begin to believe from the depth of our being that the Word of God is really, truly alive and active that the words of Christ really are spirit and they are life. And it will produce what Jesus said they are, spirit and life. It will produce in us the, 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 that creative uh, a, a, a power, that creative energy by which the worlds came into being and that same word by which all things are upheld. It will create that. It will sustain us, create within us that kind of life. It will sustain that kind of life in us. But we have to speak it over ourselves. Yes, I believe in the spoken word. I believe in the spoken word because we're doing what we're doing when we speak the word is we're agreeing with what the written word of God says. We're agreeing with him. It doesn't matter what my natural circumstance may be. It doesn't matter what things appear to be, what things actually are. It doesn't matter in the natural because the word of God 
is 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 that which sustains me and will have necessary create for me that which I need. But I have to agree with it and affirm him, affirm the word of God. And yes, I want to say it again, not just the written word of God, but him, the living word of God. I affirm him. I say, Lord Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And I put my faith in what you say because you cannot lie. Your words are spirit and they produce life. I agree with you. That's what we're doing. Thank you for joining us on The Word in Focus. You can visit us at thewordinfocus.com for further information. Please consider becoming a partner, helping with the expansion on The Word in Focus. And blessings to you all in Christ.